the situation in Bosnia is very, very bad. It actually reminds me something like 2015 Greece, this was. Uh, we see people walking to the border and then we see people who's coming back from the border, got beaten by the Croatian police and been taking their phones, breaking their phones. Uh, I'm talking about not only young boys or men, I'm talking about families. Principalmente in questo periodo la maggior parte di loro viene fermata dopo la zona di confine, la, quella che loro chiamano la Jungle Police. La Jungle Police è eh, una polizia di, che appunto, di confine, che sta lungo il confine, completamente vestita di nero, eh, hanno una sigla EPZ sopra so, so l'uniforme e sono coperti con uh, una passamontagna. La maggior parte delle violenze avviene per mano della Jungle Police. Pugni, calci, si usano molto spesso manganelli, c'è una violenza psicologica in quanto vengono uh, privati di telefoni, uh, soldi, uh, zaini. Uh, una volta deportati appunto prima del confine con la Bosnia, uh, viene detto loro di mettere tutto in, una, in, in centro e viene appunto dato fuoco a tutto, tutti i loro, i loro beni, dallo zaino al telefono al saccappello e tutto questo per una persona in transito che parte per un game è un costo che mh, qui a BF c'è di circa 150-200 marchi che dopo lo devono ricomprare. Now we plan to I go in Germany, but uh, forward is uh, so from from Croatia. If the police capture the all passenger, then he capture uh, goods, uh, food, everything, and beat and punishment, and without cloud. He kept her. So look at this, my hand, if Kurdish police and he, dog, are, uh, dog are take, so one month and uh, uh, 10 sorry, and 11 uh, day. So this, this my head and my, my food, look at this. So this my head, this, look at this, my news, uh, uh, problem, shoot the box. I like it, study, so Taliban know. Uh, no study in Daesh and Taliban, not school, so not going to uh, study where is going. So I think I, my life, look at this, this is my life, look at this, I'm on this side, on the sleeping, this is my life. شرایط اینجا خیلی سخته ولی ما که خواستم این دو تا بچه مریضم دارم یکی ناشنوا یکی مشکل اعصاب و روان داره واقعا خودم خدای از بچه امنیت جونی منو بابای نداره خیلی اذیته ما ما این بریم پیش بریم میترسیم مثلا خواستم بشیم گیم چیزی هم بزنیم دهش بوده همش بیابون بوده واقعا این اذیت شده همش جنگل بوده نه ما اینجا فامیلی هستیم گیمش خیلی خرابه پلیس کرواسی از دوست هم بدتره دوست شرف داره و ادقل اسمش بالاش دوست ده ولی پلیس کرواسی از دوست هم بدتره ما دیروز رفتیم با فامیل زن و بچه ما رو لباس ها گرفتن کفش ها ما آتیش دادن کیف ما رو آتیش دادن با بچه زیر بارون ما رو فرستادن اینجا ما هستی که دانه در بار قچاق و اولین کاری که میکنم اولین کاری که میکنم پولی میگیرم میگم میبرم خوب میبرم می میبرم میبرم یه گفته دو هفته سه هفته الله پول که گرفتم دیگه مسافر دیگه ما برسه ما این نرسه دیگه و قصه نیم فقط اونا فقط مشکل پول دارم لونین اروپی ها ساده لا ویولینسا ال پارلمنت اروپی ها ha ricevuto testimonianze, sa delle violenze che i migranti ricevono, sa delle violenze a tutti, però non fa niente. È vietato trasportare migranti nelle auto, auto privata, taxi, autobus, i migranti non possono salire in macchina. Se io vedo un migrante che sanguina, zoppo, ferito, non posso metterlo in macchina e portarlo all'ospedale.
L'Unione Europea paga la Croazia, la Bosnia, la Serbia, la Macedonia, la Grecia, la Turchia per fare hotspot, per fare muro, per fare divisione e non vogliono che il problema arrivi in centro Europa, ma finché è in Balcani, Europa orientale, va bene. Fanno finta di non vedere la situazione, che è terribile. They are trying to cross into Croatia to get into the EU where they are supposed to be able to claim asylum legally. And unfortunately, Croatia has not respected the UN Convention, the Refugee Convention. And so they have decided that even if someone asks for a refugee status, they are not going to review their case. They would rather just kick them out of the country. Cos'è un pushback? Un pushback è non è una deportazione. Un pushback è un um, respingimento illegale di persone in transito sui confini europei. La deportazione è differente perché quando parliamo di deportazione e di ammissioni sono, parliamo di qualcosa che è un respingimento legale, ma qui parliamo di pushback. I know that European Union will do everything to let the people outside. So, for example, if I try to find someone who will be the donor to pay one person or one group or one organization who will do that because if they hear oh great she will do something that people stay outside from European Union they will give the money so easy I'm sure of that they don't have a plan they don't have a solution they think it's all about the money they just give money to the countries to the government like in Greece in Croatia or wherever and then they can keep them there but they don't understand there is no safe place for them right now in Balkan or in Greece Europa sent 180 million euro to help that refugees but Europa don't look where go that money that money go to somewhere else camp for refugees is not there I think that Bosnia has outlawed help to people on the move because they want to make Bosnia an unattractive destination for them. They want, it, they want the guys to write back to their friends who are thinking of going on, on the route and say, don't come here, stop coming here, it's awful, we have no help, it's cold, it's miserable. When you get to Croatia, they beat us back, I have broken bones, uh, it's very violent, so people will stay put, people will stay home. Since two years now, uh, because of the decision of the government, they stopped all the buses who are coming from Sarajevo and Tuzla. And the police go inside, check if there are any people. Um, and they check it like on, on just on the, on the look of the people. So if they are suspect for them, if they are migrants and refugees, and then they ask for the papers. And if they have or not have any papers, not matter, they just kick them out and uh, yeah, take the names, the simple information, and then they uh, send, us, uh, send them to us, to the Red Cross team. If someone is willing to help, uh, then you can stop them. For example, it was the decision from the government for a couple of days, they will stop uh, uh, the organizations, no, no, the organizations to give uh, delivery the food. And they was taking like, we will, we will also forbid the, the Red Cross to, to give. And then I said, okay, give me the paper. Give me please the paper. And then I will do like this because you don't have the right to stop the Red Cross to give the people the, the, well, the access Red of Cross humanitarian aid. aid. You can do that. You can't stop me. All people must go to, to Germany, to Slovenia, to Austria to work. Uh, or schools uh, make of no more children. All children go to, to, to Germany. I work 30 years with children, uh, but now I don't have any more work. All children go. Uh, one political group, uh, I don't hate anybody, but I uh, give name to that group, uh, fascist. The group say all bad make migrants. One home born, they make big migrants. Somebody uh, take car and, and go, uh, that make migrants. Somebody say we must take weapon and, and against migrants. Uh, that is bad politics. 
I'm first victim in that city. I was dead, 10 seconds. Uh, I'm now without leg. You can see my leg. Uh, then I must like a migrant go to Zagreb because the Dr. Pehlic uh, steal my paper. I see same like now. Uh, we was same like that uh, refugees now. Uh, half year later I make a game, I go to Germany. Uh, in Germany I see bad and good things. Somebody help me, uh, one organization buy me a new leg. But I need paper from doctor that I don't have leg. Uh, doctor won't give paper. He say you are uh, not a Germany guy, you don't need the help. Like that fascist who say now that we should not help to to refugees. I think also because of that we was refugees, that we had we was in this situation. So I think the people understand that because I was also a refugee. I know how is to leave the house, to cross the border, to go in different country, to not know the language. You don't know what is waiting for you. European. Union have failed on humanity. They have failed on humanity. We can see that. They said we find a solution, we will do it. Yeah, 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 but nothing happened. Europe must wake up. Not only the politicians, but also the people need to wake up and show solidarity. Because don't forget one thing. The history changed before. The history will change again. One day we will run from war. One day we will do it. And then we will hope there is people to help us.